Presbyterian missionary work began in the fall of 1889, soon after the settlement of Norman. Initial church activities were held in Sewell Hall and the Franning Opera House until the first church building was erected. After nearly two years as a mission, the church organized on March the 22nd, 1891, and became an official part of the Chickasaw Presbytery. Eager to proceed with the growth of the church, the congregation dedicated the first building, July the 31st, 1891, at the northeast corner of Gray and Crawford Streets. By 1906, the First Presbyterian Church united its congregation with the members of the Cumberland Presbyterian Church. And on January the 10th, 1910, the members took steps to acquire a new building site. Construction began in January 1915, and that summer the building was completed on the southeast corner of Main and Webster Streets. In March 1951, the congregation moved into the first unit of the present church building at the corner of University Boulevard and White Street. The sanctuary was completed in 1954. In 1964, the new wing paralleling the sanctuary was built. The stained glass windows in the church, in the sanctuary, were dedicated in 1973. creation story is found in Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The hand of God is shown moving over the face of the earth and the rays show the seven days. Then the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished his work, which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all this work, which he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it, God rested from all his work, which he had done in creation. Abraham and Isaac found in Genesis chapter 22. God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here am I. He said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go up to the mountain and make of him a sacrifice. So Abraham cut the wood for the burnt offering and rose and went to the place which God had told him. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Isaac, his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. So they went both of them together. And Isaac said to his father, Abraham, my father, and he said, Here am I, my son. He said, Behold the fire and the wood, 
But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Abraham said, God will provide himself the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. Then Abraham put forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. He said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him, for I now know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called the place the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Moses, the lawgiver. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a graven image. You shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land which the Lord your God gives you. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house or his wife or his servants or anything that is your neighbor's. Isaiah, the prophet of redemption, found in Isaiah chapter 6. Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts, then flew one of the seraphim to me, having in his hand a burning coal, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin forgiven. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? I said, Here am I. Send me. The nativity story is found in both Matthew and in Luke. Reading from Matthew. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. 
Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Jesus in the temple. Each year at the time of Passover, the families made a trip to Jerusalem. And Jesus was in the company and he was 12 years old. After his family left Jerusalem, they thought he was still with all of the people returning to their home and they found that he was missing. They hastened back to Jerusalem and found Jesus in the temple questioning the doctors there and answering their questions. And Mary reprimanded Jesus and said, did you not know that we were worried and we have come back for you? And he said, did you not know that I was about my father's work? And Mary pondered these things and kept them in her heart. Jesus' Baptism John the Baptist was baptizing in the area and Jesus came before him. John did not feel that he was worthy to baptize Jesus, but he did. And when Jesus came out of the water, the Spirit of God descending as a dove came upon him and the voice of the Lord said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. of the disciples is found in Matthew and in Mark. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Philip, Thomas, Matthew, Bartholomew, James, the one they called the less, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas betrayed Jesus. The woman at the well, John chapter 4. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. You shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit, and though that those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus preaching from the boat. Matthew chapter 13, 1 through 9. The same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea, and great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat there. And the whole crowd stood on the beach, and he taught them many things in parables. 
the prodigal son, Luke chapter 15, 11, 32. A man had two sons. The younger son asked for his inheritance and his father gave it to him and he went off to the city and spent it in riotous living. He fell low among men and was eating the food reserved for the swine. And he said, here I am in this situation and at my father's home, I would be well fed. So he returns to his father. His father sees him coming and runs to meet him. And he said, my son has returned. His father puts on him his best robe and said, let us kill the fatted calf because we need to celebrate that my son has, re has been lost and now is found. The older son who was jealous of the younger son, said, my father, you have never done this for me. Why are you doing this for him? And he said, because he was lost and is now found. Ministry of Miracles, the feeding of the 5,000 in Matthew. Jesus had been preaching to the crowds and his disciples approached him and said, the people are hungry and they need to eat. And Jesus said, feed them. And they said, we have no food, but there is a boy in the crowd who has five loaves and two fish. And so Jesus took the bread and the fish and blessed it and they distributed it to the crowd and all were fed and there were baskets of food left over. ministry of healing, the healing of blind Bartimaeus, as found in Mark. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent, but he cried out all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, take heart, rise, he is calling you. And throwing off his mantle, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately, he received his sight and followed him on the way. Entry into Jerusalem as found in Mark. Go into the village opposite you and immediately as you enter it, you will find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord has need of it and will send it back here immediately. 
and they found the colt, and they brought it to Jesus, and threw their garments on it, and he sat upon it. And many spread their garments on the road, and others spread leafy branches, which they had cut from the fields. And those who went before, and those who followed, cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is coming. Hosanna in the highest. The Last Supper in the upper room that the disciples have found for them to celebrate the Passover meal. And as they were eating, he took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, this is my body. And he took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and they all drank of it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many. Truly, I say to you, I shall not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Crucifixion as found in Mark chapter 15. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him. And the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests mocked him to one another and the scribes, saying, He saved others. He cannot save himself. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he is calling Elijah. And one ran and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that, he thus breathed his last and said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. The Resurrection as found in Luke The women who had come with him from Galilee followed and saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointment. On the Sabbath, they rested according to the commandment. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, 
taking the spices which they had prepared. And they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. And when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. commission from the Acts of the Apostles. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days, and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said, You heard from me. For John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons, which the Father has fixed by his own authority. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And when he said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. Peter's dedication as found in Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 through 20. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do men say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and others Jeremiah are one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church, and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Paul's ministry 
as found in the book of Acts. Chapter 11, chapter 13, chapter 27, and chapter 28. Paul undertook many missionary trips to the churches of that area and he preached to the Jews and the Gentiles alike and he performed many deeds of service to God. The Reformation. The first act of the Reformation was dominated by Luther. The second act was dominated by John Calvin. Calvin wrote his Institutes about 16 years after Luther nailed his famous theses to the Wittenberg door. And John Knox was a founder of the Presbyterian Church, especially in Scotland, after he had studied with Calvin in Geneva. The Westminster Assembly 1643 is when it began. It was a meeting of the divines called by the Puritan Parliament, and it created a directory of worship, established the form of government, established the catechism, and the confession of faith. The first General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church was in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, in 1789. The General Assembly is still our highest board in the Presbyterian Church, leading from the local churches to the presbyteries, to the synods, and to General Assembly. Establishing the Church in the West. The Presbyterian Church was a leader in establishing missions and schools for young people, for Indian students, especially in Oklahoma. And we have some of those in existence today, such as Dwight Mission. The University of Tulsa was an outgrowth of Henry Kendall College at Muskogee, a college that was founded by the Presbyterians to educate the young people, both white and Indian. This later became the University of Tulsa. missions, both home and foreign. Our church has always been a leader in its service to others, especially in its mission program on the national level and on the local level. The Ecumenical Church. In 1948, the World Council of Churches urged Protestants to join together in dialogue so that we could establish those things together that are universal and to minimize 
the differences among the churches. The ecumenical movement started then and is continuing to this day. Christ in glory as found in the book of Revelation. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without price from the fountain of the water of life. He who conquers shall have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in John 10, verses 14 through 16. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. As the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus knocking at the door as found in Revelation 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hear and open the door, I will come in. Ascension, Luke 24, verse 50. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple blessing God.